the name is Deborah Shabangana for short. You can call me just DBH or Umakarela Kasinjeng and Gonyama or the Digital B. The Digital B story is just a long story, but just go and read a lot of my content on the Digital B on WordPress www.debradina.wordpress.com. So, yep. Yeah, welcome. It's a beautiful Tuesday. I always say on my diary, it's uh, my planner actually, choose you, choose it. So, with today, let me see what message I put for myself. Okay, so I didn't put anything. Okay, it's my planner. Anyway, if you want to see it. I didn't have much here that I put. Actually, some things I've done, but I didn't indicate here. But that is okay. The topic is Choose You Tuesday. I want to talk about how in life there are phases and there are seasons, you know, where life is not the same as it used to be uh, during other years and stuff. And this year, I don't want to lie to you, I think 2020 has just shown people that we totally need each other and human life is just fragile just like that any time any day any minute any millisecond you can go anything about you can just be over you know it just shows how you know powerful the universe is but so with regards to saying that i want to talk about how at times you find yourself in environments where it's not easy for you regardless of how great of a person you are regardless of how kind you are how nice you are how helpful you are you know i mean we are all flawed but there are times whereby you ask yourself you are in different situations you are, you are probably like in a situation whereby you're like my god i'm a very good person i'm great like i'm really amazing i'm so kind to people i'm so you know like i pay my tithe i do certain things so well like between you and me, God, we are just good. We're just cool like that. But why don't other people see it? You know, that kind of thing. There are phases, there are scenarios that happen in our lives that are like that. But I just want to tell you that those, are those, those particular situations have been the most rewarding situations. Why? Because in as much as you just is smiling and toler tolerating certain things in front of those people that are actually hurting you, when you go back home, you might cry and stuff like that and let it all out. But you know what? Those are the situations that really make you grow. But that does not mean that you should just tolerate anything that comes your way. You should just, you know, like, for example, if somebody is manipulating, somebody is a control freak on you, somebody is trying to pull you down because they just something better about you that they do not have. You know, you should let it just sink in. Always keep the positive vibes. And you know what? Just look them up in the face and just smile and actually be a bitch. You know, that's a perfect moment to be a bitch. And that means being brave, being intelligent, uh, being tenacious, uh, see, being creative, like overly creative and edge, being honest. Because I value people that are honest. I value people that are creative. I value people that are intelligent. I value people that are brave. Because nothing can ever let that person down. So no matter how, um, you know how it is. In life, you always deal with people. Trust me, there is no way you're going to stay in a cave. At some point, I believe that I could be in a cave by myself. But hey, you need people. So now when you're around those people, trust me, don't you be ashamed of being a bitch. And from the definition that I gave you what a bitch is, go, do not be afraid to do that. Because it's worth it. It's, it's, don't always tolerate things. Where you need to speak out, speak out. Where you need to say, hey, so and so, you did me wrong here. Please I, just identify and say it out loud so that they know. And there are situations whereby you actually don't want to just talk, just keep quiet. Carry yourself the way that you want to be treated, you know, don't revenge, don't take it to heart. Keep your head up and trust me, the enemy will be embarrassed. So yeah, that's my message today. Choose you. Choosing you, it means that you make sure that you create an environment in the life that you want, regardless of the circumstance. It might be really tough and thorny in that area that you are in, but trust me, you know what, there's always a silver line at the end of the cloud. You know, I don't know, did I say that correct? Like, if you see the clouds, the, the Amma clouds, like for example, my house is such one so like there's that beautiful cloud that looks a bit dark, but then the the, the lining of the cloud is like silver, like that, that gives you hope that, you know what, 
it is gonna be well child you know and in life we'll deal with all these people that are feeling probably inferior because you are you you are who you are you know there's so much power um, in being a young lady with so much confidence treating and carrying yourself like with high regard because you believe that you are you know and you should not accept mediocre just because somebody feels inferior about how you carry yourself about your standards about your experience about your skills where you've been in life you know don't you ever feel inferior as well don't you ever like feel like don't be treated me like in a mediocre way when you're not mediocre i mean if you definitely know what you can bring to the table girl you gotta be confident like if it's gonna be 200 percent confidence that's it carry that with you you know so yeah um it's it's just one of those things that i've actually seen people like you get into an environment probably they discover certain things about you that are really amazing and they don't have those things so they start treating you in a bad way like trying to crush you and pull you down just because you to them you are better than them but you don't even carry yourself like that you know that's like it's an inferior complex type of thing like people suffer from that quite a lot but it's a pity i in a situation like that i would actually want to engage with somebody who's way you know above me so that i can learn one or two things and it's never it's never hard okay it could be hard for other people but it costs zero zimbabwean dollars or zero us dollars zero rands zero kwacha zero kenyan shillings to actually be kind be nice look at somebody say, oh my gosh you studied media and you actually have a PhD or whatever in it. That's so good. You need to teach me this. Can I please just hang out with you? You teach me this and that or whatever. Just acknowledge that somebody's doing something really great. It's not hard to do so. It shouldn't be hard actually. If it's hard, then I think you have a problem. But you know what? As I wrap this up, don't be ashamed to be a bitch, girl. Be brave, intelligent, uh, tenacious creative and honest regardless of how much people want to pull you down never ever be apologetic for being a very strong and ambitious woman who knows what she wants and she knows how to actually get it so yeah that's my message today hopefully this video will come out on a tuesday okay thank you so much do remember to subscribe click that subscribe button make sure that you subscribe and Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and also make sure that you click on the notification button make sure that you yeah when you click you'll definitely get all the messages like all the videos that i'll upload you'll be notified and share with your friends i mean um trust me most people are afraid to come onto this platform but you know what i'm i tell myself i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it regardless because <laughs> i have a message to share but you know what i would really do with all your love and your support Thank you so much. Cheers. Follow me on Instagram as well. Deborah underscore Shabangana. I wanted to say Magalela. I love my son so much. Deborah underscore Shabangana. And on Facebook is Deborah Shabangana. Guys, I can't deactivate my Twitter account. And I think I had 800 something followers, which wasn't bad. It was close to 1,000. But you know what? I've been trying to get it back, but we're working on that. But anyway, do remember to just follow me on Instagram. Uh, Facebook. It's been great. Remember, be a bitch. Don't be apologetic about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I say it.